Hello everyone, I'm Brophy1322 and this video serves as an update to the fastest sports cars 2017 video where I show the best fully upgraded sports cars in terms of top speed. For all the information you need about this series, check that original sports cars video, but otherwise let's see where the new Pariah, Raiden and Comet Safari fall into that list. So first up, as expected really, we have the Raiden all the way down in 37th place with a top speed of 113.3 miles per hour. It's obviously not that impressive, it's an electric vehicle. Electric cars in this game obviously don't have any kind of top speed, so although this is the quickest four-door car around a track, if you're going from point A to point B from the top of the map to the bottom or something like that, you are going to be much better off in something like a Shafter V12, uh, which has a much, much higher top speed. So, you know, it, it is to be expected from the riding, but it might be good, you know, to, uh, getting around the city and things like that for four people, but apart from that, uh, it's not going to do anything special. 13th place is where the Comet Safari falls, 120.0 miles per hour for its top speed is actually pretty respectable, you know, that, that's relatively decent, and it's about on the same sort of top speed as the Tropos Rally, when you're looking at that sort of mini uh, rally class within sports cars, so that's not too bad actually from the Comet Safari, and... and for such a huge class, there's almost 50 cars in the sports cars class now. To be up into 13th is is pretty good. But we're now on to the Pariah, and it's the new number one by a ridiculous amount. 136 miles per hour for its top speed makes the Pariah not only the fastest sports car in the game, but also the fastest non-rocket powered car in terms of top speed overall. This beats everything. It beats all the supercars, it beats all the sports cars, it beats everything that you can think of that doesn't have a rocket strapped to the back of it or can fly. So it's clear at this point, it should be clear at this point, that the Pariah has been put in the wrong class. As you can see with the comparison, the Shafter V12 is now in second place in the class for top speed and the Pariah just decimates it by almost 12 miles per hour and actually the difference between first place and second place in the sports class now is the same as the difference between second place and 38th there are 30 over 35 vehicles that are closer to the shaft of v12 in terms of top speed than the shaft of v12 is to the pariah and it's just it's unbelievable now it's really a shame to be honest that the pariah isn't in the supercars class which is really where it should be as you can see the pariah is even quicker than the 811 which is the the best in the supercars class so we have a situation now where the quickest sports car in terms of top speed is actually quicker than the quickest supercar in terms of top speed but yeah it's just a real shame because for a long time we've wanted a car that's got good top speed that is competent in the corners the 811 and the banshee 900r which were the two top uh, in the supercars class for top speed they're so bad in the corners that you can't really use them in a race anyway now we have the pariah it's got good cornering capability and insane top speed it would have been really interesting to put this up against things like the wagner the xa21 which are better around the corners but have worse top speed and it would have been such a nice uh, nice way to balance the class in different ways and have different cars available for different tracks. But as it is right now, the Pariah is stuck in that sports cars class and you're only really ever going to be racing other Pariahs. And if you're racing anything else, you're just going to decimate them anyway. So unbelievable, the Pariah. 136 miles per hour for its top speed, the new quickest car in the game, really, apart from rocket-powered vehicles. Just absolutely insane. And it's in the sports class. Bit of a shame, but a crazy car. So that's pretty much it. Obviously, remember to read the description for more info. Comment with your thoughts. Like the video if you enjoyed or found it helpful. And subscribe for more. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.